Welcome. This is Lorraine Aguilar, founder of Working Harmony, and this is One Gratitude, One Small Success, where together we share the mindfulness practice of beginning our day with gratitude and reflecting our day uh, on the small successes. So I want to welcome our Dutch viewer class and anyone else who is signing on to the live Instagram feed. I'm so happy to be able to share this practice with you. Please type into the comments your gratitude for the day. I'll share mine with you, play you a little favorite by Jason Mraz, and then scroll through your responses for some shout outs. So my, my gratitude this morning is for patience. <laughs> because I'm noticing how important it is in my own life right now. Um, I'm in a whole new chapter and facing a lot of uncertainty and I'm even in a different place right now. I'm, I'm in Mexico at the time hoping this, this new environment might inspire me to do some really awesome writing and um, yeah, it's, it's patience because man, being in a new environment, being in a new life in a way, lifestyle, you know, focusing on writing every day. Um, it's not like, oh, I'm completely proficient the moment I start. I'm realizing that it takes patience to adapt, to get to know my area, to find my own rhythm in, in this new chapter. And so the, the ambitious part of me wanted, wants everything to happen yesterday. And the patient part of me is saying it's a process, just <laughs> you know, lean into the process. You know, I know my personality. Things always take longer than I want them to take. So just be patient and lean in is kind of the message my inner wisdom is giving myself. So, and I'm grateful for that. What is yours as I play you this little song by Jason Mraz? Doo -doo. that I meant to, I fell right through the cracks, and I will try to get back, before the cool dumb run out, I have to give it my best, and nothing's gonna stop me but divine and invention, I reckon it's again my turn.
good to do a longer version today. Oh my gosh, I'm just lighting up seeing all the lovely people who are with us today. Welcome, Taylor. Welcome, Julie. Sunshine on my shoulders. Welcome, the Dutch hiker, Ron, and, and, and Hubi. Oh my God. And Zenobia and Klaas. Wow, we've got like half of our participants are from the Netherlands. I love it. And Julie. Yay. Okay, so the first gratitude that I see is from Klaas. He says, my gratitude is for my doctor. I have a good doctor, I can assure you. I'm so glad to hear that because when you're getting a gallbladder removed, as you shared with us yesterday, that's something we'd really want to trust that we're in good hands for. So I'm really happy to hear that, Klaas, and wishing you a very speedy and full recovery. All right, we've got some waves from Zenobia and the Dutch hikers. Okay, I see a gratitude from Julie, sunshine on my shoulders. She says, my gratitude is for the mild summer that Santa Monica has brought this far, bracing myself for a possible heat wave, but loving the summer breezes so far. Oh yeah, summer breeze makes me feel fine. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying your summer, Julie, and I know you live in a really beautiful place, so I'm so glad you're making the most of it. Okay, let's see, we have a gratitude from Zenobia, my favorite podcaster, and fresh scrum master, for those of you who are familiar with the Agile <laughs> community and software development. Zenobia says, I am grateful for patience. And, I, I just see the patient's and. If there's more than that, go ahead and type it in, but I'll take your gratitude for patience. Amen to that. That's, patience is really, <laughs> goes a long way indeed. Thank you, Zenobia. And for those of you who want to, to check out her podcast and, and support Black Voices, um, her podcast is at Rebirth Podcast. If you go to Instagram at Rebirth Podcast and just follow the links, uh, you can find her on Spotify and other places. So, yay. All right. Um, Klaas says, yes, good recovering. Your, your music works like medicine. Oh, I'm so glad. Get some healing vibrations out to you. All right. We've got um, a gratitude from Ron and Hubi, the Dutch hikers. Grateful, my dog is always happy to see me. Aww. Yay for unconditional love from our dogs. You know, that really touches my heart because two families who are very dear to me, my, my own, my sister's family, and my, one of my dearest friend, Allison's family, who you, who you know, Ron, and, and who be Allison, um, they both lost their family dogs this week. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's a very tender time to love our animals. Um, and so thank you for sharing that. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Zenobia did type in her other gratitude. It was passing her CSM, the Certified Scrum Master exam. Woohoo! Congratulations. You are now a Certified Scrum Master. Those of you who want to find out more about how teams can do awesome work collaboratively and effectively and efficiently, check out Scrum. Um, and now Zenobia is a new Scrum Master, so hit her up if you need a Scrum Master for your team. Yay, congratulations, Zenobia. And Julie says, and as always, grateful for the light you bring. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, Julie. And Zenobia did put her um, address for the podcast, at Rebirth Podcast, one word, in Instagram. Okay, last call for any more, um, any more, uh, <laughs> I'm losing my English today. Any more gratitudes, I'll check one more time before signing out. So, oh my gosh. As we embrace life with its joys and its sorrows, with the things that we know for certain and for all the things that are uncertain, may this little mindfulness practice and connecting with our humanity and with an attitude and spirit of gratitude, may this serve you in, in your days to make the most 
out of this time. So thank you so much for joining me. Please be kind. Please take good care of yourselves. And may we all do our part to facilitate humanity rising during this powerful time. All right.